But this evening, the murals James Franco personally painted are gone. KPX 5's Kit Doe is live at Palo Alto High with the story behind this vanishing artwork. Kit? Yeah, it turns out James Franco has multiple paintings in different locations throughout the school here. But the superintendent today said given that everything that's happened and their educational mission, all of the paintings have to go. Palo Alto High School is in the process of scrubbing itself clean of one of their most famous alumni, James Franco. This is all that's left of a nine foot tall mural. I wouldn't have thought to paint it over, but I'm glad it was done, I guess. Franco painted the black and white mural himself back in 2014. He did it as part of the grand opening of the Media Arts Center and painted a dozen more pieces to hang on the walls. I don't think anybody really liked them to begin with. So nobody's missing them. Bella Trillo was a freshman at the time and remembers the Hollywood star on campus. It was cool to see him here, but he's and he's definitely done a lot with, with our school and like with the arts. But the mural itself definitely wasn't amazing, I would say. The Hollywood Foreign Press. Trouble began for Franco last month when he showed up to the Golden Globes wearing a Time's Up lapel pin. Shortly after, five women accused Franco of sexually inappropriate behavior. He denied the allegations with Stephen Colbert. The things that I heard that were on Twitter um, are not accurate, um, but I completely support people coming out and being able to have a voice. And then earlier this week, the school's newspaper, The Campanile, reported Principal Kim DiOrio saying quite a few parents and teachers wanted to see Franco's artwork gone. The principal agreed, saying it might be a good idea to distance ourselves from Mr. Franco and some of the recent allegations that are now in the limelight. I hope the allegations against Mr. Franco are proven to be false, and if that's the case, I will personally apologize to him if he feels like we overreacted. Just because he's a famous guy who went to power, he doesn't really mean he has the right to come and have his you know artwork all around Pally. So I think just making it a safer environment by taking the murals down is a good choice. And the superintendent says the agreement has always been that at some point the paintings would be returned and the murals would be at some point painted over. We're live in Palo Alto, Kitto, KPIX 5.